Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide taken from an ependymoma in the cerebellum in a four-year-old child. So looking at relatively low magnification, we can see that the tumor appears to have two different looking areas. On the top right is a slightly pinker area. And on the bottom left, we have this very interesting bluer area with a kind of uh, intriguing repetitive pattern. Let's first take a look at this pinker area. And on higher magnification, we can see that it is composed of relatively uniform cells with quite small round to oval nuclei. We can see that the nuclear membranes are smooth. And on higher magnification, we can also appreciate that the chromatin is relatively speckled or quite coarsely granular. And let's now move down to the more interesting bluish area. At this magnification, we can see that there are some structures within the center of the paler areas. And actually, these are blood vessels here, blood vessels blood vessels, and the tumor cells appear to palisade around the blood vessels surrounded by this zone of hypocellular fibrillary material. These are known as perivascular pseudorosettes, and they are frequently seen in ependymomas. We can also appreciate them very clearly here. And we can see that there is a central blood vessel, this pale fibrillary zone, and then the nuclei around it. So these are perivascular pseudorosettes. This is different from true ependymal rosettes, which may also be seen in ependymomas, and I will show you an example as well. Here is an example of a different case, and this is a cerebellopontine angle tumor. This is also an ependymoma, and we can see that the Rosetti structures are a little bit different from what we saw earlier. Let me zoom in here. They are almost resembling true glands with a very sharp luminal surface and a proper lumen, as opposed to perivascular pseudorosettes where you have a blood vessel in the center. So let's do a quick comparison of the two types of rosettes. On the right, we can see the perivascular pseudorosette with the blood vessel in the center, this fibrillary material, and then the nuclei around it. And on the left, we can see a true ependymal rosette with a proper central lumen and a very sharply defined luminal border. True ependymal rosettes are actually relatively rare in ependymomas. We most frequently encounter the perivascular pseudorosettes. So in summary, we have here a low-grade glial tumor comprising round to oval cells with very uniform nuclei containing speckled chromatin showing some perivascular pseudorosettes. There are no features to suggest a high-grade tumor such as necrosis, nuclear pleomorphism or mitotic figures. This is therefore a low-grade or WHO grade 2 ependymoma. Thank you.